Hi everyone, uh, we are here to make a quick project to uh, see how we can attach it and I am going to demonstrate you uh, how to attach on a little uh, board that most of my students know as being uh, Bill's feet uh, because it's Bill Buchanan who showed that to me and they are really cool. So uh, I'm going to try to use everything that you have um, at home, uh, making uh, something uh, with everyday life. So I have a mold like that, but you can um, take whatever board you have as soon as you do not have any feet on them. Um, but that's normally easy to, to find. They do not need to be totally like half a sphere, that can be flat on the top. You can even take a plate. Uh, to know the amount of clay that you uh, need, you will need to measure the, the perimeter uh, from here to here. And uh, in my case, it's 11 centimeters. You all know how I love to talk about centimeters. So let me see, it's uh, six inches. And I, so I went and find something that you could have, like uh, hummus. And I took the, the top of that, and the top is a bit less than six inches, which is perfect. I have my slab um, that you can roll. I'm sure that everybody has a roll pin. Um, it's not because you are not at the armory that you should not use a rib to be sure that your clay is smooth and nice. And then I'm going to take my uh, my lid and cut around for the surface of my bowl. Um, for those that are better than me, uh, you can also freehand. Um, I like to start with something with a certain size and then play with them. So I'm going to just put my clay on the top of this mold. Use again my rib for the other side to be sure that it's smooth. Uh, one thing very often what I like to do at this point is kind of free, land, free shape my bowl. So it's a bit shorter than what I need. So I will not have a very perfect line. Though I know that some of you really nice to have, like to have something really straight at the end. So in this case, you can also use something and just put it here. So I'm going to put that aside and we are going to make the feet. So there are several ways to make feet. The first one is, and if Bill is watching, I hope that I am not changing his method. Ah. But you make a coil from your clay. So all your feet, because you want all your feet to be identical um, normally though they could have a different shape, but not for this demo. So I have a, a coil that is about uniform. Then I take my ruler, put it straight in front, and cut three, my three feet. So um, in this case, in fact, uh, I am making them about this amount, which is uh, three quarter of an inch on three quarter, and I make them in little uh, bowl. However, you could imagine plenty of different feet uh, and different length, uh, even if on the same shape. So I prepared three different size of feet. The one that I have here are very short, but you could imagine the same bowl with longer feet. 
you can imagine them with really long feet because you are going to make them dry on uh, vertically so the weight of your ball will not impact you can also make just little cylinder um, or you could imagine also taking some um, mold and make it make it fun um, so you can find your kitchen plenty of different things you can so for those kind of, of feet you are going to take your little ball have three balls of the same size uh, then you are going to transform them into urshi pieces so i am turning them i am using my three fingers to make kind of a cone shape and i'm just pushing down my feet i want them though to be long enough uh, to raise my ball from the table. Uh, I have one at home, I should have taken this one, where I made the mistake, so it's a very stable uh, ball. I have my three feet, but the middle part of the, um, of the ball um, touched the table. And I'm sure that Mark must have liked me when he took it out because uh, the middle of the ball was just, um, glue to the to the kin shell so be careful and make sure that this part is higher than your three feet and so that would be how you will define the size uh, the height of your little feet so i'm making three of them and same thing um, I want them to be all the same size, same height. So in this case, I don't know if you see, but I have my three feet. This one seems to be a bit lower. But my feet are about the same height. Now, how I am going to put them? If you see your ball from the top, you are going to make a triangle. Um, if you want for sure that your ball is standing like that. If I wanted the ball to stand like that, uh, making it bigger, I will measure everything from this angle. So you define the angle that you want. And then you look and make a triangle. You can look to make a triangle, or you can measure from the bottom. One thing that is important to understand is that if your three feet are right in the middle, if I had my three feet here, sometimes it's a very cool look. Unfortunately, that will never stand on a table. So you have still to remember the physics. If you want all your feet to be right in the center, then they need to be long enough to counterbalance your ball. So now that I have my little feet that are right there, I marked my triangle. So I have one here, one here, and one here. I'm going to look if they are nice when they are like that, just by putting them. And they look fine. Uh, I still, yeah, I still have my same problem, so I'm going to make them a bit higher. So here they are higher. Okay, now I am going to use my needle tool here to mark, to mark where I want them. I am going to score the bottom of the feet, the bottom of the pots. Here I have some uh, plain vinegar. Um, it's just white vinegar, but the bottom was not very nice, so it's in there. Um, and I am going to use a brush. I'm sure that whatever vinegar you have, even balsamic, would be fine. And I am wiggling. 
tripling my feet, making sure that I continue to have them so I am not flattening them. And do the same thing with the next one. A little bit of vinegar. I will them. Be sure that they are still high enough. And my third foot. Okay, here I have different choices. So if I have right now my feet, I decided that my feet would be an integral part of my butt. So I'm going to use my tool to just make it, make them disappear. But I could also make a foot that will be really more round and decide if I do this one. I want this part to be really round. I don't know if you see well how this one has. And if I was putting it on it, if we have another focus, I will have a, spa a small space in between my foot and the pot. And that's perfectly okay. You just need to be sure that you are attached by the center of the foot and after it's really up to you so i attach all my feet put my finger in vinegar and just smooth everything until you do not see the attachment at all So now you want to be sure that the, your ball is going to stay straight on your table, right? So you are going to use a bat, a plate, anything that is flat. And you are going to, to check with the level that you are flat. However, I understand that some of you do not have level. So I came up with a homemade level. I just took a transparent glass, put some water so on a flat table and marked was, where was the line of the water. If my pot is not flat, I will see compared to the line. That will give me the exact same thing that the little bubble here. So I put my level over. And in this case, this side is about flat. That's flat. Now I am going to check the same thing in the other direction for the other foot and correct what I need to do. That's it. And here we are. We have a little pot that will dry that way until it's strong enough to stand on their feet like that. Um, when I will turn it, that's when very often, so sometimes I take it like now and play with the, the side to make it smaller, to make it nicer, or you can wait until it's a bit more sturdy for that. Then it's up to you for decoration. I hope that you like this little bowl and we'll come with other little projects like that in the future. Bye bye.